One of the things crucial for any civilization to flourish is a steady and abundant supply of clean, fresh water. It is the lifeblood of our planet, arguably the most fought-over resource on Earth. Without it, crops fail, sewage is not effectively flushed away, and a lack of it will cause dehydration and death in an incredibly short space of time, depending on where one were to find themselves. Thus, for our posit of ancient, advanced civilizations, with populations well into the millions, to hold any water, a civilization we believe continues to bestow upon us advanced knowledge, ingenious solutions to the most difficult of problems, such as water manipulation and the irrigation thereof, would be present. The management and general manipulation of water should in all accounts be present amongst these sites in which we claim to be the work of now lost civilizations, and that is indeed what one finds. There is endless discussion within peer-reviewed papers and academic circles by regurgitation, seemingly lacking the faculty for critical thinking as they continue to look upon these ingenious ancient solutions for getting water to places that it should simply not be as simply wonderful, all incapable of considering that these people who created these structures, although they did not build skyscrapers, may not have been of a primitive nature with far less capable tools than modern man, this again, I might add, a denial continued when one looks upon the size of megalithic blocks moved through these lost ages of antiquity. Yet I digress. The following ancient water technique is nothing short of astonishing, and the work that must have gone into its construction unimaginable. Not surprisingly, it is an ancient marvel that did not escape the attention of William R. Corliss. Known as Canots, they are literal underground ancient man-made rivers, built slightly underground for the purposes of shade from the searing sun, found in most of the locations you find the Canots. This of course also minimized evaporation considerably inevitably allowing the water to travel unimaginably further into dry and inhospitable locations. These ancient man-made oases, yet another example of not only ancient man's abilities, knowledge, and dedication to overcome obstacles, but also a clue as to how many people these, what we believe are now lost civilizations who abruptly vanished, housed at an unknown time in history. For such enormous volumes of water are only needed for an equally enormous population, possibly once located somewhere nature wouldn't have allowed, yet with their advanced knowledge of irrigation systems, they flourished within. Canots are yet another incredible remnant left by an advanced civilization, which we undoubtedly find incredibly compelling.